Now then, this is a video I'm not going to take any pleasure in bringing to you at all. I sort of wished that I'd never have to make a video like this, and I suppose I don't have to make a video like this, but I just want to expose what's happening. I'm at the site of a marina on the Lancaster Canal, Bridge House Marina I believe it's called, which is usually probably a lovely place. Some nice scenery, some nice boats, a nice bridge over there with a little bit of character, a good bit of character. And this, unfortunately, has been the site of an environmental catastrophe, would be the only way to put it. I've had a walk around. I'm going to show you what I can see now. There's been some sort of summit going on. I'm going to try and investigate, try and dig into what's happened. But there are stacks and stacks of dead fish. I've walked around about a third of the marina, and I must have seen like 30-odd dead pike, load of big dead bream, perch, all sorts. It's absolutely well and truly heartbreaking what has happened here and um, whoever is responsible for this needs to be held accountable and if I can do anything to help that happen I will whether that be just raising awareness getting your guys' help if anyone has any connections to any papers any websites any anything that you can help or any environment agency contacts then it'd be much appreciated but there'll be a comment thread below where I'll post all the updates about what the environment agency have found in their water sampling and hopefully we'll find who's responsible for this and hopefully I'll be able to share that with everyone who's responsible for this because this cannot go unaccounted for. So I've just arrived at the marina and right now I'm seeing a lot of dead small fish. This down here literally just hopped on there's a pike there about half a pound. A load of small fish it absolutely reeks of fish around here. This whole place just smells so bad. This is an absolute disaster. It's the biggest perch I've seen down there. Let me just zoom in on that for you. Don't even know what all these small fish are. Some of them are tiny. Don't know if you can see that there in the middle of the screen, but some of these fish are still alive. Really struggling, just gulping for air. It's clearly an oxygen problem. Now that is the biggest fish I've seen so far. Absolute slab of a bream. Dead. Someone has to be responsible for this. Another pike there, about a pound and a half or something. Seems like it's lost all its colour too. Looks silver, I don't know why that is. Now if I'm not mistaken that's a rough. We can add that to the list of species that have sadly been killed over the last few days. Just breaks my heart. There is just no escape in this smell. Death, rotting fish. It's horrid. Another big bream. I think anybody who fishes can agree that this is just absolutely awful. No one wants to see a fish like this. We've got some that's swimming around there still alive but only just these fish definitely must have suffered more fish still alive but only just so sad now i've been making youtube videos fishing on the canal and everywhere else for over two years now two or three years and I can say with certainty that this right here is the saddest thing I've ever seen. There's at least six or seven pike there, all dead in a big pile of weed. Because of human error, whether that be error accidentally or on purpose or cost saving, whatever. Absolutely disgusting. So it's just been pike, roach, bream, perch galore, rough. It is such a shame to see, and I've just seen something else that's not quite dead yet. I'll show you that now. Terrible to see. A big eel still flaring its gills and moving around. Makes me want to cry that humans have done this. So sad, struggling for breath. This is that bridge I was telling you about before. 
what I imagine normally is a lovely little bridge to walk across. Today, not so much. Big pile of about seven dead pike down there. Look at all these fish struggling. So apparently the people who run this, according to a few Facebook groups, know who's done this because it's happened about 10 years ago, once before. Now I'm not going to say any names, not going to say where, but apparently there's a farm, the farm that's caused this slurrying or something. There's been a nitrate rich something or other in the water, which I'm no biologist, which is starving all the fish of oxygen, which is taking all the oxygen out of the water, which is a real shame. But as any updates are publicly available, I'll post them in a thread below so you can see exactly where things are up to and what's happened here. Now I know I've been doing a lot of just close-ups, but I'll just show you in real time what the situation is here. So I'm walking along now, you got all that. Next bit along, more dead bream roach next one along pike down there this is an environmental catastrophe i'd say more fish just absolute piles and piles of them there's another pike down there as well look at all this as well here this is a sad sight young ducks swimming over the bodies of dead fish i dread to think what this is doing to them as well quite a sizable pike there too another big eel struggling here now i just want to make it clear that this is not the fault of the marina that this has happened this has happened externally and this issue has come down the canal and into the marina causing the problems that it has Another big old bream down there. I mean, as well as seeing the big ones, I don't even know what that is. It's heartbreaking seeing the small ones because these are the future. Now, it'd be about this time in the video, I'd be saying. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe, but I imagine no one's going to be enjoying this. I suppose you can subscribe if you want to see me fish the Lancaster Canal, but that's not the point of making this video. The point of making this video is that I want to do something about this and an opportunity may arise and I imagine a lot of you will feel motivated enough to do something about this themselves and I don't know what form that'll be. Maybe that'll be petition, protest, whatever, I don't know. But I'll be, I'll be keeping an eye out and letting everyone watching this know in the comments below too what you can do if there is anything. Because this has almost reduced me to tears to be honest. <sighs> Seen a fair few herons sniffing around too. No doubt they'll have had their fill today. Now I suppose if we want to look for a positive amongst all of this bad news, I have not seen one pike in here that's been above about four pound and I've not seen a perch that's been above about half a pound. And I believe there was a few rescue attempts yesterday. Uh, and a couple of people got together and netted a few of the big pike out, a few of the bigger fish that looked to be successful, so saw some pictures of that online huge thank you to those that did that that is that means the absolute world to me and a lot of other people that both fish this canal and just appreciate it in general now i just got talking to a member of staff he told me that it wasn't 10 years ago it happened it was about six or seven and this is the third time that this has happened and it's arisen because the a farm has dumped slurry into the canal and whether or not that was intentional i don't know but to think it's happened a few times. What needs to be done to make sure it doesn't happen again? Maybe let me know in the comments below if you've got any ideas. Hopefully I'll never make a video like this again.